Hello children, in this video we will get to know what is query and how we can retrieve data using query. Query is to collect specific information from the pool of data. A query helps us join information from different tables and filter that information. Filtering means that the query uses criteria you provide to hide some data and present only what you want to see. So query is taking out data according to your condition, according to your requirement from one or more table, right? So let us do it practically. Okay, here I have opened open office space. Three options are given for creating the queries, create query in design view, use wizard, to create query and create query in SQL view. So first we will use, we will click on use wizard to create query. Okay, you will get this particular dialog box, query wizard, you will get the query wizard dialog box. From the tables, you can choose the table that you want. Let us suppose I am taking the table one. In table one, I have fields, student ID, father's name, address and DOB. So here I'm taking student ID, father's father name and address. I'm not taking DOB column in my query. Then click on next. Again, click on next and then here we are not specifying any matching condition. Okay, so simply click on next okay then it will ask you that in my table the column names are student id father name and address if i want to change the names i can change the names from here if i don't want then there is no need to add the names then click on next okay now this is the Query name, query table one. So uh, simply I'm making it query one. Query one. And then finish. Now here you can see, I have taken student ID, father name and address in my query. So this is the data that we have retrieved from the table one. Now it has become query one. You can see this is query one. Now next we have create query in SQL view. We can also create table by using the SQL commands. So we are going to do it practically here. Click on the tools tab, tools menu and then click on SQL. Okay. The very first command is to create the table. So here I am creating the table. create create table double quotes to data double quotes create tables to data i have enclosed the table name in double quotes okay brackets circular brackets now i'm taking the fields of the table columns of the table row number int int is the data type of the row number table that means row number will contain integer data it will contain numbers right whole numbers then we have S name, student name, where care, where care is the data type that will contain string value that is character value and I, and I have specified 30 limit that means it will contain 30 characters. Then we can take class. 
class care care data type then we can have marks int data type and then dob date of birth it will be of date type now circular bracket close and then semicolon click on execute now you can see command success successfully executed close right now if you will see the tables here you will not find stu data table here so what you will have to do just save it and then close this right again you have to open the database student database school database right click on the tables now you, here you can find this two table has been created this is your two table right now we have created the structure of the table now the next what we have to do we have to insert the data in the two table right so again you have to click on the tools menu and then sql tab here now we will write the command to insert the data let me check the fields first we have the roll number student name class marks class marks and then dop okay so we will click on the tools and then sql then we will write the command to insert the data in the table insert into stu data we will enclose this two data in double quotes insert into stu data stu data will be in double quotes okay values one zero one is the roll number right enclosed in quotes maybe in double or single quotes then name student name ram then we have student class 10th class then we have marks 89 marks and then date of birth date of birth you will give in year month and day format year like click on the execute button now command successfully executed close this now if you, if you will open this student data one record has been inserted right again we will insert one more record here insert into stu data values 102 roll number name neha then class 10th then marks 56 then date of birth
टू फोर ईयर मंथ एंड डे राइट एग्जीक्यूट कमांड सक्सेसफुली एग्जीक्यूटेड क्लोज इट नाउ यू कैन सी योर टेबल्स टू डेटा टू रिकॉर्ड्स हैज बीन इंसर्टेड हियर नो वी वी कैन यूज द क्रिएट क्वेरी इन एसक्यूल व्यू टू मेक द क्वेरीज हियर राइट If I want to show the data of this two table, I will write the command select star from two data, right? Select star from two data. The command to show the table two data, right? Then click on F five key now. I have got the table two data here. Okay, fine. Now, if you want to save this query, you can save this. Otherwise, okay, I am saving this as query two, right? And then close. Again, I want to make one more query here. Select star from two data where s name is equal to Neha. Here I want to retrieve the data of Neha. So I have written the query select star from two data where s name is equal to Neha. Press F five key. So here I I have got record of or data of Neha, right? By making use of where clause, right? Click on. If you want to save this, I can. You can save this query three, and then close this. Okay. Next query. If okay, next query is select star from two data. Okay. Order by s name. Order by s name, right? So here we are using the order by clause. Order by clause is used to arrange the data of the particular field or particular column in ascending or descending order. Not the particular column. It will arrange the whole data of the table according to a particular column. So it will arrange the data of the table according to the s name field. S name column, right? So here I am arranging. Uh, by default, it will arrange the data. It will sort the data in ascending order. Okay. So let us see the result by pressing the F five. You can see now, ne record of Neha is on the top and Ram is below the Neha, right? Because now the uh, the column data has been arranged alphabetically, in ascending order, right? So. Again, this is our query four. Close. Next query. Select star from two data. Order by s name. DESC. Now DESC keyword is used to arrange the data in the descending order, right? So it will arrange the names in from Z to A. 
press F5 button here. Now you will get this result. The records has been arranged in ascend in descending order, right? By default, they are arranged in the sending order. Now they have arranged in descending order. If I use the word ASC, if I use the keyword ASC here and then press F5, then it will again arrange into ascending order. Now you can see they have arranged into ascending order, right? Okay, now I can also make changes like if I make the query select roll number s name class marks plus 100 right from okay i have left the dob column here from to data Okay, so I have made a query. I, I want to display the column roll number as name class and marks and I have added 100 to the marks column, right? From StuData, this is my query. StuData, we will close StuData in double quotes here. StuData, right? Press F5. Now you can see the marks now increased with 100. Now, okay, 100 it is added to the marks, right? Okay, next we can use the update command. This is my query 5. Close. Now, next command I am using update command. I if I want to ch make changes in the data, then how? If I want to make change in the data of the table, I'll use the update command, right? So I'm writing the update command here. Update to data set. class is equal to ninth where s name is equal to neha right click on execute okay Neha, where s name is equal to Neha, update to data set class Okay, it is not finding it. Let us close. Let, let, let me find whether the store data is having Neha. Yes, it is having S name is, is equal to Neha. Close. Again, click on the tool tab and then SQL. Now, update. To data again, I'm trying to data set class equal to nine where 
guy's name. Equal to Neha. I think there is some problem in this. Let us close it. We will do next command. If you want to delete the data from the table, you can give the command delete from to data where where name is equal to Neha execute this command has been executed now it is taking as name as Neha right so we will see this to data no we have only one record that is Ram fine Again, we will do the update command. Now, click on tools and then SQL. Update. To data. Set marks equal to 100. marks equal to 100 where rule number is equal to 101 right updates to data set marks is equal to 100 where rule number is equal to 101 Command has been executed. Close this. Then we will see this. Now you can see. Row number 101. The marks has, has been changed. Now they are 100. Right? So in this video we have completed. How we can create query using the wizard. And by using the SQL commands. Thank you.